what we're going to do here today is we're going to talk a little bit about fire in general and we're going to talk about some fire safety preparations. What I would advise if you haven't already is have the kiddos watching this with you. Whether it be your kids, your nieces and nephews, your grandkids, because sometimes the kids are the first ones to find the fire. Sometimes they're the ones who set the fire. So either way, we want to make sure that they are ready just like you and should have everybody on the farm be well aware of fire. You want to have fire extinguishers strategically located throughout your operation in your home so that you're never further away from a fire extinguisher than six seconds at any given time. So, in each outbuilding, but we want to keep things simple, in each outbuilding, each entrance door above the light switch, right on the wall, that's where you put the extinguisher. Then you're not going to have issues with animals knocking the extinguishers off or little, little kids playing with the extinguisher. So, all of your outbuildings in the winter, we want to worry about pest control. We also want to have a very good extinguisher accessible on the wall right above the light switch. Space heaters. Obviously, we're going to be using those a lot more in the winter time. They have some of these <clears throat> that when they get tipped over, they automatically turn off. Those are pretty slick. We want to make sure that we've got that setting. And common sense again, you don't leave them unattended. You don't put anything that's flammable too close to it. I mean, there's so many things that can go awry with a space heater. What's interesting is I got actually a testimonial from one of our customers, Brian Harp in Blasvale, New York. Um, he had to use it this winter. His dog, actually, of all things, his dog knocked over his kerosene heater in his house. And he said with one squirt, the fire was out. And he was happy that he actually spent the money. So it's interesting. Who's going to anticipate that? Dog's walking along, knocks over his kerosene heater, starts a fire just like that. Thankfully, he had a fire extinguisher within six seconds. One quick squirt, fire was out. His fire, minor inconvenience instead of major tragedy. So we've got extension cords. Again, common sense. If you've got extension cords that are chewed up, you've got extension cords where you're touching parts of them and it gets super hot. You've got extension cords that don't have the three prongs on the end. It's only got a two. Or maybe somebody clipped off one of them because uh, they wanted it to be able to work easier in a certain outlet. I get it. Real life is real. But you've got to be smart when it comes to extension cords and use high quality extension cord. Take good care of it. Maintenance comes down to... Uh, so many things just come down to maintenance. Next one, portable generators. Using them appropriately, making sure that they're well maintained. You got the carbon monoxide issue. Uh, having a carbon monoxide detector uh, on each level of your home, having carbon monoxide detectors in your outbuildings, these are all smart things to do. We don't sell them. Uh, we actually give away uh, hundreds, I think uh, quite a few hundred last year. And each year we just, if you're talking to one of our sales representatives and you need a carbon monoxide detector, and if we still have some in stock because we buy, buy them by the pallet and smoke detectors too, and we cycle through them and when we get our hands on a bunch more, we give away a whole bunch more too. We're in the business of manufacturing or making the most reliable fire extinguisher but we give away thousands of smoke detectors and carbon monoxides on top of that because ultimately it's our job to help you be ready for that fire and to make it a minor inconvenience rather than a major tragedy. So carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is an interesting little beast. It is almost of the same density as air. So you'll find it low, you'll find it mid, you'll find it high. So some people will tell you you should have your carbon monoxide detectors high, you should have it low. My experience tells me it's almost mixed in there pretty well. So it doesn't really matter where you have it high or low, but it is important that you've got a carbon monoxide detector on each level of your home. And it's a good idea to have carbon monoxide detectors in your outbuildings as well as smoke detection um, equipment as well. Because again, time's your worst enemy. It only takes 30 to 60 seconds for that fire to grow out of control. And we want to get it put out before flashover occurs at that three to five minute window.
to them is they say, you put them on each piece of machinery that you like, just the stuff you like. You can put this on the stuff that you don't like. But each piece of machinery, so all vehicles, um, anything with an engine in it, you put an extinguisher on it. I just this this great barn that we're in right here. If there was any kind of a fire in here, <clears throat> I mean, this is going to go up so fast. There's five gallon containers of oil all over. There's feed bags laying all over. If a fire happened in here, it's going to get big really fast. It's smart to keep your flammable liquids and your, uh, you know, your propanes and your diesels and your gasolines, obviously your lighter fluids, your, uh, what is inflammable? That's a liquid on the farm, right? It's smart to keep them stored properly because it's easy to tip them. It's easy to have all kinds of fires. So we want to be smart about where you're storing them. But again, wherever you have a higher concentration of flammable liquids, make sure that you've got a fire extinguisher super close because if it happens, it's going to happen quick. So some suggestions with manure piles, I'm going to read down, read through these bullets. So where this information again came from is our marketing uh, team did a lot of research on what are the greater risks as it relates to the farm in the winter time. So manure piles specifically should keep them 20 foot away from any structures, keep them well ventilated, uh, check for any smoldering. Uh, the gases, of course, can be lethal, and we have a testimonial relating to that, too, is Daniel Miller, Hog Barn. He's in uh, Coryville, Pennsylvania. He was down in the manure pit <coughs> underneath it, and so everything was empty, pressure washed it, cleaned it out, He's doing repairs. He starts welding and immediately a fire started. There must have been a buildup of gases. Thankfully, he had stop fire close by and used it and was able to, um, boy, that could have been obviously a very bad scenario, bad situation. Smoking, um, obviously, if you're gonna be smoking, be smart, don't leave your cigarettes lay around. Um, ideally, you're not smoking even in an environment like this. You're not smoking, obviously, when you're refueling um, generators or heaters. We do a lot of business with Amish Mennonite plain folk, and sadly, they have a lot of fires because uh, they do uh, deal with a lot of open flames. So just be smart with how you're handling things. We've got one interesting testimonial of a... Uh, So if you can believe this, the recliner was actually on fire and they used stop fire to put it out. It worked great. There was no mess to clean up. This is from David Yoder in Oblong, Illinois. And uh, he even was able to spray, or his wife sprayed the stop fire directly onto his skin because it cooled down the burn. It helped it so it didn't get worse. So it worked great. I appreciate very much you taking the time listening to all of this. And if we can ever be of service to you, even if it's just a fire safety related question, you can call our toll free number. It's on all of our extinguishers. If you don't have access to that, you, you go to ake.com or any social media. We're here to serve. The objective of our sales representatives out in the field is to be the farmer's local fire expert. They're fire safety consultants. They want to help you to be ready for that inevitable fire. So as a company as a whole, our passion, stop firing every farm in America and making the most reliable fire extinguisher so that in your time of need, you can actually depend on and trust stop fire. So once again, thank you to the Goodmans for letting us use their farm and thank you to you for taking the time to watch this. And if we can ever be of service, just let us know.